Meanwhile, Paul George comes in with great form for the Clippers again. They're going to need all hands on deck. This is a featured matchup with four of the best wing players in the NBA. You just saw two of them there as the Clippers win the tap. They'll have it to start the fourth quarter as well. George summons the ball picked up by Brown on the game's opening possession. Now Leonard with the shot clock winding down. Jackson finds a seam, drives in, and lays it in. And the Clippers draw first blood. But that's by design for one, so they can get, you know, re-familiarize themselves with each other, but also the other three players on the court can also get accustomed to... And then Zubak inside, and that time, that was just a shifty move by Jalen Brown, and he throws Zubak that time, so... The NBA kind of kind of carried the NBA from an excitement perspective, with, and that's excitement right there by Tatum. But how hard it is! There were two fantastic drives, one by Tatum and then by Paul George, not settling. Pass there by Smart to White for three, and Derek White reigns in the triple, 41 percent on the year. Leonard has been active, picked up by Smart, reigning Defensive Player of the Year, longest tenured Celtic. Tough shot for Kawhi, but he knocks it down, and Leonard gets his first bucket of the ball game. He's got three overall. Clippers trail by five. Leonard on the attack, picks up the dribble, bounces in the corner to Jackson for the catch and shoot three. It is good. Reggie Jackson in his park place brings the Clippers to within two. God, you're going to shoot a high percentage. It's when you begin to force the situation from behind the three-point line, taking tough shots where your percentages go down. And Paul George right back at him, a quick pick and roll in transition. Got the best of, you know, the Boston Celtics is in the paint. 46 paint points to 38 for Boston. Not a surprise, Brown is excellent in the mid-range. Especially when people see you as a basketball player, 6'10 basketball player. He did a movie with Amy Schumer, if I'm not mistaken, as Marcus Morris knocks down the jumper. Long on the three, Batum, Saturday's hero in Washington, comes away with the rebound. Hands to Morris, finds a seam, reverse layup. And Senior with seven, and the Clippers lead by ten. Good hustle. But the one thing that jumps up, the Celtics 34% from the three-point line in losses, 41% in wins. John Wall, a high percentage shot as he lights the lamp for the first time here tonight. 29-21, Clippers out in front by eight, shooting 58% from the field. Brogdon, pump fake on George. Gets to the rim and lays it in. What a tough shot for Brogdon. He's got five. Tatum with time, back the other way. Looking to force the contact. No, gets his own rebound. The putback at the horn is good. Brogdon is great everywhere. Down the lane, finds Williams in the corner. Good defense, good closeout. Hauser inside the cornet, juggles, recovers, and leaves it in. Brogdon gets around George, gets to the rim. No, rebound batted skyward by Batum. The Clippers have it. Wall finds a seam, gives it to Mann in the corner. Open for three and lets it fly, and it goes. The fourth three for the Clippers. And now a lot of ball movement on that possession. Here comes Jalen Brown with 8.45 to play in this first half. Brown below the foul line. Twisting and turning, fading and firing, and filling it up. He is absolutely amazing. He grew up just outside of Boston. George, another two, and it goes for Paul George. And PG now with 10 points here in the first half. Keep his mind engaged. Not that he won't do it anyway, but to be able to allow him to play a few minutes before the half ends. Defense for the Celtics recoils in transition. Kennard off the bounce to the rim and in. What a move by Kennard. White. Brogdon almost automatic from the three-point line. I mentioned it earlier. 49% and climbing for Brogdon. Um, all in due to create some space to get that 18-foot jump shot off. Winner two for three. Brogdon run off the line by Jackson. Gets to the rim and lays it in. Can make a little something out of this. Leonard with nine to shoot. Picked up by Griffin. Steps back for the long two. It is good. That is what the Celtics want them to do. Leonard. Trying to pick up Brown as he goes into the paint. Top side to Brockton for three. Griffin pushes off on Batum. No whistle. Gets it to Tatum for the three. It is good for Jason Tatum. 
Leonard around Brown to the rim, unfettered to the cup and lays it home. That's 10 first half points for Kawhi Leonard. A long way to go. Leonard on the prowl gives it over to Senior. Good ball movement here to start things off for the second half for the Clippers. Long two for George. It settles in. Paul George with 15. Tatum tailgated by Morris, gives a clean look at a three, in and out, Tatum one for six, he is more efficient in the second half than he is in the first for what it's worth, Leonard for three, it's good. You know, probably being in shape and running and doing all of that, the coordination part of handling the basketball and making the move just wasn't there, but it is now. Good finish there by Tatum. George gets a screen from Zoo. It's a good one. It frees George for the three, and he knocks it down. Second three for George. He has 18. Leonard at the controls gets a screen from Jackson. Drives in on Griffith. Pulls up for 15. The shot is good. Kawhi Leonard is looking more like Kawhi Leonard. This is the best we've seen him all year. Seven of nine from the field with 17 points. And he's not settling for contested shots or shots that he can't make. Speaking of which, you don't want this young man. Leonard with a rebound. And Williams tears it away for the Celtics. Spins a whirling dervish inside. It's Williams now. Trying to find Zhu, being fronted by Brown. Not a lot of spacing, so Leonard takes matters into his own hands. Kawhi Leonard is 8 for 10. Boston playing with a sense of urgency here. These last couple of possessions down. Clippers got to match it. Wall, long two early in the clock. It falls. They can all score at all three levels. That's what makes them extremely difficult to lock up. Morris rises for the contested wow. 20-footer. And I'll tell you what, he could throw a key into a lock tonight. It's so enticing to go for that steal. But Patum thought he had it. If you miss it, this is what happens. It's Tatum gets you, but then Paul George. And they say he's day-to-day. -day. Could be as soon as the next time out for the Celtics. Terrence Mann hangs and hits. 81-68, Clippers out in front, 130 to play here in the third. Tatum is out there, gets right to the rim, dismissed by Man Wall controls. Kennard in the corner. Got it! Hauser for three. In and out, rebound goes to Wall. Clippers can go two for one, plus to have the ball to dart the fourth. Wall knocks it down, a quick 7-0. John Wall controls. Peyton Pritchard out there as well. As Joe Mazzula trying to mix it up. Kennard below the foul line. Beats the buzzer. It is good. Clippers 90. Celtics 72. Knowing that the offense is still kind of clicking, but maybe in a different way. Brown jab step. Jump shot. Three is in route. It is good. He has 16. Jalen Brown, one of the more cerebral players in the league on and off the floor. George back in the game. Making an imprint to the rim. Oh! Gets the bounce, 22 for Paul George. 34%. Clippers are hoping that that plays out. Luke Kennard stumbles over and back. Right. It's in a deep. And he hits a three. George. Four to shoot. Leonard going to have to bail him out. The catch and shoot three. Mm. Bucket for Kawhi Leonard. Three point wise, it just hasn't fallen tonight. Give credit to the Clipper defense. Leonard twisting and turning, fading and firing. It's a virtuoso effort for Kawhi Leonard. A season high 25. Back on the wing to Brogdon. That's trouble. Jordan. He leaves it short, gets his own rebound. Tries to wow. bounce inside. That's a clever play to Jalen Brown, who has 18. Great contest by Kawhi Leonard right there. Brown bullies his way down the lane, scoops wow. it up off and in. He's got 20 timeout Clippers. They're firepower. I love it when you go into the lab and you break out the trigonometry stuff. Oh, Terrence Mann with a much-needed bucket. Clippers out in front by 21. But I look at this Celtics team from a year ago, and I think it's a good blueprint for the Clippers to at least understand it, and maybe more importantly for the fans. A 20-point win over the best team in the NBA. It's the best game the Clippers have played.